This is Neil Gornflow with Shareable Magazine. I'm here with Mira Luna at the, at the, uh, the Homestead Skillshare Festival, um, which Bay Area Community Exchange organized. It's Saturday, May, what, what is today, Mira? 26. It's May 26, <laughs> okay, 2012. Um, so, Mira, tell us, tell us what, what this is all about, the Skillshare Festival. Well, it's about self-sufficient, sustainable living in the city. And it's also about um, realizing our potential to teach each other what we need to know um, but without needing money. So we're trying to transition to a more sustainable lifestyle, but um, a lot of people don't have access to that knowledge or skills, and we think that we can do that all through the time being. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So tell, um, tell us about, I mean, I saw the... The sort of lineup of classes is pretty amazing. How many different workshops did you have today? There were about 40 workshops. And and was there sort of any kind of theme along them besides this? Uh, you know, I saw a lot of food stuff. Since we're at Hayes Valley Farm, what what kind of what were some of the workshops that um, were well attended today or caught a lot of interest? Well, the ones that I attended that, <laughs> that were actually really full or some kind of higher level um, homesteading skills like soap making and mushroom um, cultivation. Um, I think a lot of people here um, know a lot about growing food. Um, there were some people who were beginners here as well, so we tried to make it from the beginner to the very advanced end of the spectrum. Um, but there were people teaching things here that it would be hard to learn anywhere else. Yeah. Right. <laughs> So there, there's also like a interesting connection. So it's it's a skill share. So there's a lot of sharing going on, a sharing of knowledge, but it's also a time bank that helped organize this, or is the organizer of this. So tell us how that, um, how you came to that, how that's, you know, what the connection is and why that makes sense. Well, I'm the coordinator for the time bank, and I have a personal interest in um, in homesteading. Um, but again, I, I just wanted to like realize that potential for um, people to train each other and then train other people and then train more people in how to live more, more sustainably. And so we applied that principle to the Time Bank, um, to the Homestead Skillshare Festival using the Time Bank by paying all the teachers in hours. None of them received money for cons um, compensation, nor did the musicians or the people who brought food or any of the volunteers. Um, it was all done in time. And, and hours, like they can, yeah. hours are times the currency, right? Yeah. Okay. So if you're, so it's really cool. So you could come here, you could teach something and get paid in hours. Um, and if you learn something, then you could join the time bank and then also teach that to other, teach the skill you learn to other people. Is this like kind of the idea of like to spread this knowledge in a sort of viral way almost using the time bank? That's definitely the idea. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. And I, I'm. You know, you know, as a Bay Area resident, I've been following the development of the Bay Area Community Exchange pretty closely. You know, we work together on Shareable, and you've written all kinds of cool articles for Shareable on housing co-ops and other stuff. Um, and I've noticed that you've edged towards doing lots of community events, like to help grow the time bank. Like, tell, tell, um, you know, share with, uh, share with me, like, uh, how you reach that strategy and why it works. Well. We, we tried it, you know, on a smaller scale last year with the um, Time Bank Holiday Fair. Yep. And we had over 200 people come to that, and we planned it within about a month's time. And there wasn't nearly as much going on here, but people were really into it. And um, at the Time Bank Holiday Fair, we actually had people exchanging things directly for hours. So there were people selling uh -huh. things like wine for right. hours, and um, homemade wine. <laughs> and then... Um, and um, here, people are actually paying um, to get in with hours. Oh, cool. So you can, to attend, you can uh, actually spend your time bank hours to yeah. get in, yes. to get your ticket. And, right. And I'd say um, more than half of the advanced registrations were people paying in, in time bank hours. Wow, and that's amazing. Yeah. Is this, I mean, is this kind of approach helping to grow the involvement in the time bank? Definitely. We see a huge spike in registrations. Mm -hmm. the time we have events. I think partly just because it, people hear about it and also partly because um, the time bank is kind of an abstract concept. It's actually a tool. Right. And so people have trouble figuring out, well, why is this important? It's important because it helps all these other things happen, like um, 
elderly people taking care of each other, like putting on a homestead Skillshare festival, like um, doing a time bank holiday fair, like um, teaching each other anything. You know? Right. And so, why, and like this idea of reskilling, like why is it important for us to teach each other how to do things? <laughs> I, it sounds like a dumb question, but yeah. I just want to hear you out about that. Well, a long time ago, we used to know these skills back, our, our ancestors did, and not even that long ago. Yeah, like ago. even our grandparents, yeah, right? Yeah, they lived a little closer to the land. They did produce most of their things themselves, and they bought a few things. And one benefit of that is that you have um, greater resiliency, um, because you're not getting all the things that you need met through a few corporations that are very far away. And another benefit is that you don't have to spend as much time working at a regular job in order to get your needs met. So you can grow your own food, you can make your own mushrooms, make your own soap or whatever, and then you don't have to buy these things. So you have a lot more freedom in your life to choose what you want to do for a living. Or do to support yourself, yeah. provide, right. provision yeah. your life, right? right? You can be more creative about your life. Even. Make things the way you want them too, right? Yeah. Compromise as much, take a job that you don't want that's actually destroying the environment, but instead you can do something else. And you know, I encourage people to like leave their jobs half time and start a time bank business half time. Yeah, know? that's cool, <laughs> right? Yeah. Right, so like Etsy, but like using time bank as the platform instead of using currency, right? That's a really cool idea. Well, we're at uh, Hayes Valley Farm. It's starting to r wrap up here, although there's a lot of people here still. And thank you, Mira, for sharing. Uh, your event with Sherbel Magazine. Thanks, Dan.